the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting messages, faith based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. There is a principal blessing that follows sonship. There are many, but there is one principal blessing that follows sonship. Is called inheritance inheritance is the reward of two sons Psalm 133 from verse 1 and 2 the Bible says behold how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity verse 2 it says it is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the bed even aaron's bed and went down to his garments are you seeing it now so from the head of aaron it is going down to other parts of the body connected to him inheritance inheritance is a very powerful concept we know this and we understand this so powerfully in africa many people understand the concept of inheritance where a man is able to will whether possessions to will whatever it is that makes you an extension of that person it's called inheritance inheritance ephesians 1 and verse 11 the reception of possessions the reception of traits the receptions of genetic qualities or whatever quality that makes you able to, repli to, to replicate and then to become an extension of your father is called an inheritance. The Bible says, Ephesians 1 verse 11, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who walketh all things after the counsel of his own will. The Bible says we have obtained an inheritance. Can I tell you, the chief inheritance that we received in Christ is the Holy Spirit. Listen carefully. The Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Being made a curse for us, for it is written in that Mosaic law, that cursed is the man that hangs upon a tree. Is that true? That the blessing of Abraham, justification by faith, might come upon the Gentiles to the end that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So the principal inheritance that God gives men is not money. The principal inheritance, please listen carefully, that God gives sons is not cars and houses and all of these things. In fact, any father that gives you anything physical alone really did not give you an inheritance. Read your Bible. In allocating his inheritance, Abraham gave his other sons with, um, what's her name now? Ketura, about six sons he gave them physical things estates possessions but to isaac he did not give any he released something on him and said go so when an inheritance is physical is the least form of inheritance god gave us his best the spirit of the living god that is the inheritance that we have received today the spirit of adoption can i tell you this that the presence of the Holy Spirit in the life of a man is what makes that you are able to walk in the fullness of your sonship. Now, please lend me the next five to ten minutes and let's discuss the power that is contained in sonship. Now that we understand that sonship can be by natural descent or by adoption, now that we understand that sonship involves your relationship between the father who is abba source sustainer defender protector and the son now that you understand that there are demands to sonship the demand first and foremost of followership the demand of total dependence in fact i omitted one you may want to write the demand of honor honor 
there is no true sonship without honor to the father from malachi chapter 1 and verse 6 the bible says a son honoreth his father you may want to just write it down and we said the principal blessing that follows sonship is inheritance 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 in this case for the believer our real inheritance is what the bible calls the blessing now many people have called the blessing many things and I, I understand from the perspectives but what the bible really calls the blessing is the holy spirit It's beyond an anointing it is literally the holy spirit he is the blessing it is from him the hymn writer says praise god from whom all blessings from that the blessing would come every other blessing the wisdom of god the creativity the power and all of these things but god wants us to walk in the fullness of sonship in fact the bible says that the earnest expectation of creation that they are waiting for the manifestations of the sons of god another version says creation is waiting for god to reveal who his sons truly are hallelujah yes when jesus said he came from the father they said that means he was trying to say he was exactly the same thing with the father because whatever is in abba through followership through dependence and through honor will eventually find expression in the son is that true when elisha carried the mantle of elijah he went to the jordan and he said where is the lord god of elijah and the sea parted hither and thither and the prophet said surely the spirit of elijah doth rest upon elijah hallelujah praise the name of the lord when i began my journey with god please pay attention now i read through scripture and i read through history i'm a student of bible history i'd love to know what god did in the past so that we can position ourselves to be mightily used by god and i saw that many people captured in history men and women alike got to points in their lives where they were marvelously used by god it seemed as though in every generation you would find people generally just loving the lord and then you would find a few people who would become unique expressions of the divine life in power in grace manifesting the multifaceted possibilities of the christ to a degree that was commendable and i wanted to know what was the secret behind these people i studied i read materials i read the bible i didn't want to live an ordinary life not just for the purpose of flesh and all of that i really wanted to do something with my life that would count and i found a secret that for the next five minutes i'll be sharing with you and then we'll pray can you pray in the spirit in one minute whilst you're seated and ask the lord to open your eyes But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Yes, now, I want you to be very sensitive as I teach now because I want to show you something that will open you to a new realm of the anointing a, a dimension of the power and the grace of God upon your life when I walked in here I sensed in my heart that there were people who came for this meeting with with an intention in their heart it's like they're just saying lord i'm searching for something i do not know i just know there is a dissatisfaction this cannot be it there there has to be more i'm tired of giving explanations i'm tired of just saying things i'm tired of preaching and going back and say why didn't i really get this i'm tired of giving people an explanation as to why this did not happen please sit down let me show you something the power of sonship 
let me show you how spiritual power is measured first in the kingdom are you ready genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 this is the hallmark of spiritual power it is important for us to know where god wants to take us to so that when you say you are walking in power this is the benchmark that god gives you let's start from verse 2 for sake of time genesis 1 verse 2 god himself is demonstrating his idea of power the bible says there was darkness there was void over the face of the deep comes from the hebrew expression to who confusion and chaos verse 3 and god said let there be light and there was light by this singular expression god shows us his definition of power that you do not have power in the kingdom until you sustain the ability to say and there is when you can say and there is you have entered a realm of true power this is where god is leading us to and god said and there was it doesn't matter what he said should be and god said listen to me the power of god only moves when he says and god said let there be light and there was light verse 4 the bible says and god saw so you say it it manifests your eyes can see it and you see that what you said is good this is god's definition of power by the time you say it and it does not happen there is a compromise to your sonship that means everyone under the sound of my voice should evolve spiritually to a level of stature where you sustain the ability to say and see this is how you become a blessing now when you speak over people and you say in the name of jesus may doors be open they know that there is an antecedence there is a track record that like God, since you are created in his image, if you are his son indeed, and his spirit is upon you, you should say and see that what you said is good. Are we together? How many things do we say that never happens? It is proof that there is something with the experience of our sonship. We have said many things about our lives. We have said many things to others. In the name of the Lord, the government that we supposedly submit to, and yet nothing happened. So I need us to understand where we are going. Because in this kingdom, we reign through words. And the real proof of dominion is when your words carry the capacity, the power to make manifest that which was spoken. Genesis 21 and verse 1, please. Genesis 21 and verse 1. The Bible says, And the Lord visited Sarah. Please read with me. Want to read. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had. And the Lord did unto Sarah. Not as she wanted. Not as he wanted. As he. If he says it. And it happens. Then that is power. Read from Genesis to Revelation. This has been the highest index. To measure spiritual power that when men say and it happens they call them gods immediately they say you are demonstrating an identity that is not human from whence did you get this ability to say and it becomes listen this is where god is bringing us into because the only way you can be a blessing to everyone around you is not just by doing by saying and it becomes do you know what it means that you can step into a family after this conference and see darkness and it reminds you of genesis 1 verse 2 and you tell them find rest an envoy has come i i am representing a government usually they will doubt you until you say when you say and it does not happen that picture misrepresents the potential of the kingdom that you represent because if it is true that he has made us kings and priests unto God, even to reign on earth, and he says where the word of a king is, there is power. There must be something about your words. You see, do not allow your repeated failure as a result of lack of spiritual power and not understanding sonship 
to so cheapen your words that it no longer carries power so when you say god bless you people just laugh they know it will not happen it is my prayer that someone will catch this principle and begin to demonstrate the power that comes through sonship that people will do anything to see you because they know that you are the clearest representation of the power in this kingdom they know it has nothing to do with being a man of god it has everything to do with being a son let me teach you one law and we're done this is the fundamental law that controls spiritual power in this kingdom as far as manifesting sonship is concerned it is called the law of submission hmm. matthew chapter 8 please from verse 5 let's wrap up now matthew chapter 8 and verse 5 the Bible says Jesus was entering into Capernaum and there came to him a centurion. A centurion is in the ranking of a captain in the army. Beseeching him, the Bible says, next verse, and saying, Lord, thy servant lieth at home. My servant lieth at home, sick of palsy, grievously tormented. Please follow this story. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. Look at Jesus. You are a captain. You are a noble man. I will respect you by coming to your house. And the man shocked Jesus with a statement that gives us a very powerful spiritual formula. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only. Are you seeing now? Remember our reference, Genesis 1. Speak the word only and my servant shall be healed consistent with that law of creation you say it it happens speak the word only why what is the basis of his confidence he says it here for i am a man under authority that means jesus this formula is known to us too we understand it i am a man who is under the authority of a roman government and by the privilege of my submission i can read with me i can and he does that look like genesis 1 3 and 4 because of the authority i now demonstrate the power of the government in this case the roman government and i prove that i'm truly under authority by saying to this man and he goeth to another come and he comes to my servant do this and he do it that means jesus i know you don't have to go that far you are under authority yourself the reason why you are doing well is because you are not doing well as father you are doing well as son you have unashamedly submitted to the governing authority of heaven and you derive that strength from that submission so we understand ourselves on this wise and this is what he says when jesus heard it he who taught you where did you get this understanding from that men walk in power consistent with their degree of submission to the authority that means the power that is exerted in and through a believer's life is not just necessarily a product of prayer and fasting alone no more than that your submission you will always manifest the power of the government you are under there are people for instance who have all kinds of rankings in the military and by the privilege of their ranking they can speak listen before anything submits to you it checks your submission the the principle of dominion that we have received in this kingdom the kind and the dimension of dominion we have is called shared dominion we do not have absolute dominion our dominion is derived from that which was given to us in christ are we together now this was the mistake of the sons of skiva they had sincere hearts but they were not under authority and the realm of the spirit knew jesus i know paul i know 
it was when Jesus went down under the influence of John into the water as he came out to demonstrate his willingness to submit your Bible says his heavens your Jesus walked under a close heaven even though as the word of God for 30 years his heavens were closed till submission opened his heavens Just because you are sinless and just because you are sincere does not mean you would demonstrate the authority of this kingdom. I have met with people and here and there I've needed people to help me in an area and they come with boldness because what seems difficult for me may be very easy for them based on the authority. The moment they wear their uniform, there is confidence because they are not moving alone. There is a government that backs them hear me the real strength of a son is not derived in himself is derived as an overflow of the authority that backs him this is why jesus gave us something called his name do you know what is contained in the name of jesus the name of jesus is an extension of his office he never gave us the name until his coronation service was done the Lord said to my Lord, sit down at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. So when the coronation service was done, he said, all hail, all authority in heaven and in the earth has been given unto me. Go with this consciousness. Don't go alone. If you go alone, you will be surprised. He tested this on the disciples. Send them two by two and they returned with shock. They said, can you imagine? Even the demons were subject to us in thy name. And he says that's the key don't forget it so when peter and john went to pray and they saw a man at gate beautiful he says silver and gold i do not have but we are under the influence of an office in that name rise up and walk and the man was watching them he said no if i speak as peter don't believe me but i'm speaking as a son stand Everything that we do in this kingdom that works only works because we have allowed our lives to be the channels for the authority that we submit to to find expression. There's no time I would have taught you the ultimate test of submission is when you can say nevertheless not my will but yours be done. You are not truly submissive when you have options. You are not truly submissive when there is a plan B Jesus himself showed us the zenith the apex of his sonship when he went to Gethsemane the Bible says he cried and he said father in fact let's look at that as a last scripture Mark 14 and verse 36 I like the rendition the synoptic account of Mark Mark 14 and verse 36 this is what happened to Jesus he said Abba father all things are possible unto you that means lord i'm going through this agony as the substitutionary sacrifice if all things are possible is it not possible to route salvation through another means and spare me this pain but he remembered the law of sonship nevertheless not what i will but what thou wilt true sons have lost the ability to say no they cannot say no not to the father it is yes it is yes it is yes so if he sends you the answer is yes if he says go and lay your hands on the sick and heal them the answer is yes Lord but what of my ego nevertheless not my will he tells you carry your account and give for this program and he said lord what of the building project but you remember you are a son nevertheless so it sonship is a responsibility it's not just about saying i am a son the next time you call yourself a son let these three dimensions of teachings come to your mind the demands the benefit and then the power that flows from that sonship I submit to you by God if there is anything good and there is anything that is noteworthy you have seen in the life of this man standing before you 
it is not because of anything we have done in our strength and by ourselves this is the simple but powerful secret that you come in the name of the Lord what gives me the guarantee that you will never be the same it would be stupid for me to come here by my own strength and actually believe that your life will never be the same but when you come as touching this government I have probed this government enough and I know that God is mighty I know that this government we are under can lift in one night one night not one week one night so our confidence is derived from the manifesto of God from Genesis to Revelation God did not hide his ability he let us know what he could do seated in this place right now are people who are trusting to see several manifestations of the possibilities of the kingdom in your life for some of you it is sickness you want to see the power of God come to heal and to bless for some of you it's all kinds of demonic oppressions attempting to spy upon your liberty I bring you good news the Bible says listen carefully it says submit yourself therefore under the mighty hand of God then it says resist the devil many are trying to resist the devil the devil verifies the spiritual verification system is the truthfulness of your submission for I am a man under authority for I am a preacher under authority for I am a businessman under authority if you're a businessman who is just a graduate from a good business school congratulations but you will be surprised and the reason why the devil would take you personal is because you have the, you have named the name of Christ anything you do that is with this consciousness deserves the backing of heaven so when you lay hands on the sick as Joshua Selman you will be both surprised disappointed and frustrated but when you come in the name the name does not mean using it as a tool with the consciousness of this government John said I am the voice he got it right until he got it wrong for as long as he was right everything he said happened but he got it wrong when he was offended he said are you the messiah or should we expect another i made a covenant with god in and through my life and i said lord no matter what it is that you want to do i am available you can find expression through me believe me when i tell you this i have no business looking for fame I have no business looking for whatever it is I am shocked and surprised when I see people pursue you know all of these things the privilege of doing and being what he has made out of my life is a debt I will spend my life saying thank you to and all that I desire to see is that I become an extension of his possibilities to the life of men and I made a covenant with God that no human born of a woman will ever meet me twice to be blessed. <laughs> Truly. I apologize if that sounds arrogant, but it's true. That you will never have to meet me twice. Like a contact twice? No. I will go on a retreat. And God said, and he saw. This is not just preaching. I'm not just delivering a good sermon. I want you to see the heart that is speaking to you. This is more than a preacher just coming to preach at a nice conference. I'm challenging you. The world is waiting. They are tired of our explanations. Can I tell you, if we don't manifest to be true sons, our children will reject God to our face. You see what is happening right now? The way people are vocal because when they press their apps, it works immediately. Their apps don't give explanations. It is only our confessions that give explanations. When they command the apps to go, they go. 
and now when we tell them be blessed nothing happens may your life change nothing happens oh he's a lion of the tribe of judah the rose of sharon nothing happens then we try singing it nothing happens then we try chanting it nothing happens it's calling you deeper 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 is calling you deeper deeper hallelujah just two prayer points and then i'll just take five or two minutes five or you know six minutes to just speak over our lives and then we're done for my session i like us to pray for many of us where we have missed it is that we've just been claiming sonship i am a son oh god forbid the devil will not destroy me i'm a son and yet in the realm of the spirit you have not subscribed to the pattern that makes for the experience of sonship indeed the law of followership genuine followership dependence honor let this be your first prayer point i like you to cry it from the depth of your heart i obtain grace to follow and to follow holy go ahead and pray Someone praying. Hey, la basha brande ge de bala kusia da bala da ba. I obtain grace to follow. First, the authority of the Father in heaven and the authority over me, even as touching this commission, I obtain grace. Go ahead to pray. To follow wholly and to follow truly. Hey, la basha la brande gedebe de gedebosh. Hey, pras kota basha ta brande gedebe de gedebosh. hallelujah hallelujah now i want you to pray and cry to the lord that the dimension of spiritual power that must be at work in your life for your life to begin to bring glory to the name of the lord listen carefully john 15 and verse 8 says herein is our father glorified if it's true that you are son then the son must be committed to bringing glory to the father and it says herein is our father glorified that ye bear much fruit so shall you be my disciples is that true jesus when he was teaching what we call the beatitudes he says let your light so shine permit it to so shine not before angels before men what they will see is not light what they will see is good deeds and by doing that you will bring glory to your father who is in heaven galatians chapter 1 and verse 24 a scripture that has blessed me so much that you get to a point in your life where this scripture becomes a reality and they glorified god in me they glorified god in me through the manifestation of his wisdom through the manifestation of his power they glorified god in me I like you to pray and desperately cry father let there be a release of true spiritual power in and through my life go ahead and pray i desire to do much for the kingdom is someone praying that in this end times may i be a mighty vessel creation is waiting for this manifestation
I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours forever. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours. My life is yours, it's yours, it's yours forever. It's yours, it's yours. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Let it be a prayer from your heart. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. No matter what it is, I truly am ready and willing to manifest sonship. Whatever you ask. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let, let's just take five or ten minutes. Let me just pray with you and then we're done who is Bukola I'm hearing a name Bukola you are a woman you are wearing a nose mask this is what I'm seeing a, a woman is there someone like that Bukola I want to pray for you madam can I pray for you My head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I am anointed with friend. What do you do? Huh? I'm seeing you with a syringe. This is, huh? Like, I'm seeing her with a syringe and a stethoscope. Where does she work? hospital i want to pray for you because god is about to lift you in a way that will surprise you you believe that father in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus i stretch my hands right now this grace that lifts may that grace rest upon your life in the mighty and the marvelous name of jesus christ i declare that over you Roti me. Roti me. Is there someone with that name? Your name is Roti me. You are wearing white, complete white, like kaftan. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. Roti me. Maybe they are following online. You can still connect. Is there someone like that? Roti me. Okay, white. Can I pray for you, sir? What do you do? I want to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord connecting you to a politician in this city you are drawing the man and presenting it as an award and the man is blessing you I'm seeing that connection opening you you this is what I'm seeing do you do you have anything to do with portrait Port, maybe portrait drawing or whatever it is because I'm seeing you doing something as a gift to give somebody who is a politician in this city huh some portraits now oh, you are buying some portraits that's what i'm saying that you will give somebody as a gift and god will connect you and bless you in a way that will surprise you i pray for every one of you madam can you tap this woman for me please lay your hands on your stomach i rebuke this thing that i'm saying by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ be set free now from this demonic whatever it is in your stomach i declare be free right now in the name of jesus christ and for all of you who are out here i decree and declare the lord who brought you here by this word whatever it is that is an issue of ailment or whatever it is in jesus name let there be a miracle for you now in the marvelous name of jesus christ let there be a miracle for you now in jesus name please return back to your seat hallelujah now i want to pray for you 
and we just spoke about the power of sonship and we cannot end this session without an opportunity for God to really impart this grace upon someone's life I believe like I said earlier on that there are people who came here with hunger in their heart they came to receive something the grace anointings are transferable these possibilities help us to manifest the fullness of the life the power the grace of God is, is it all right if I, if I speak that way? hallelujah bring for me the person who shouts now under the anointing this is what I'm seeing I just saw fire we're going to pray like the anointing loud shout Please bring them. My head is exalted like the horn of the unicorn. Hallelujah. There are 11 people here I'm seeing. God is breaking the siege of delay. Please help me. Now, please listen. Listen. They are going to begin to run out by the anointing just hold them so they don't injure themselves i stretch my hands right now all over this auditorium just bring them out please in the name that is above all names let that and not have a coach please whether you are an usher or not help them i decree by the power that help that lady please in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare every embargo over your life let it go now shout a loud amen let it go now i cause delay i declare speed 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 10 years in one year i prophesy over your life in the name that is above all names Sir, what do you do? This man. Huh? I'm seeing you with a mic singing. Are you a music minister, sir? The Lord is asking me to pray for you because I'm seeing you climb a ladder. God wants to open another phase of ministry for you. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I declare, may that anointing come upon your life and shift you to a new season in the name of jesus christ that grace is upon you you will go back and you will begin to walk in signs and in wonders in the name of jesus christ i'm still praying for people i'm saying it again that anyone who has been in at the same place that year in year out it looks like nothing is making progress i came to push you by prophecy by the power that raised christ from the dead right now please help them in the name of jesus go forward now go forward now go forward now help her go forward now in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah oh dear our time i'm seeing a woman here three years you have been trusting god for the fruit of the womb this is god opening my eyes you are wearing like a blue a blue is it a blue dress or so three years who is that please come your story is about to change please stand up madam You're together okay what do you do sir oh there there's no other mic okay that's all right no problem please help them madam don't be embarrassed this is a family of faith this is a conference you will not forget in a long time in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God how long madam Can I pray for you? You believe in miracles? Hmm. No, that's all right. Let me pray for her. 
please lay your hands on your stomach i want to pray for you truly he has been given a name no 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 please don't force her don't put her under pressure to come out now in the name that is above all names madam look at me i minister the life and the power of jesus to you right now i declare whatever it is that is stopping your fruitfulness according to the time of life i lose you from it right now in the name of jesus christ and i decree and i declare in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god be healed now be healed now in the name of jesus christ is she the only one you're together you too you too can i pray for you how long have you been trusting god three years will you believe what i tell you now go and write the name samuel go and write it. father lay your hands in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now by the power that raised christ from the dead you see the bible says blessed is she that believes it says for unto her there shall be a performance of those things that were spoken spoken in the name that is above all names please don't come out okay all of you are coming out trusting god for the fruit of the womb huh it's all right let me just pray for you i'm trying to just walk with time father you have spoken and in the name of jesus i decree and declare for this my dear sister let it be for you in the name of jesus christ and for all of you who are here in the name of jesus there is there is someone here i'm seeing a vision your mother is in the hospital right now as i'm talking is it like i don't know if it's a terminal disease or whatever it is in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be a miracle for mama right now in jesus name i declare by the power that raised christ from the dead i open your wombs now regardless what the medical situation is we veto it by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ where my dear stand up is she the one who came your mom cancer, cancer. oh dear don't cry don't cry don't cry this is why jesus brought you here father we agree in the name of jesus christ we declare an extension of mama's life in the name of jesus christ let her not die we bring life and we bring healing right now by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus i decree and declare over all of you here return supernaturally with your miracle children in the name of jesus christ now i'm praying for you i just have about two minutes i want to respect the time there are people please you can return back to your seat there are people here right now where you are there are dimensions of the spirit you have seen in your dreams you have desired from the depth of your heart some of you certain gifts that you once saw in your life gifts of the spirit manifestations of the power of god you used to have prophetic dreams and what you saw would come to pass but right now it looks like it's faded there will be a reawakening right now please help her so she doesn't injure herself in the name of jesus christ that's all right if she... you don't have to kneel you don't have to kneel why is she here ask her for me right now in the name of jesus i want to pray please believe me that anointing will come upon you and your life will be turned some of you are in ministry but as it is truly you have not seen the kind of results that makes for that justifies your sonship you don't have to come out just stay where you are I'm praying for you right now in the name in the name of Jesus okay in the name that is above all names 
I pray right now at the count of three just help those under the anointing father I decree and declare upon every life here men and women there are women like Deborah there are men like Samson right now may that anointing come upon your life at the count of three get ready one two three take that fire now take that fire now take that fire now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare a new anointing there are women in this church that will begin to rise in power women like Deborah I release that anointing upon you please help them my God those in ministry there are healing anointings grace is for healing let it fall right now let it fall right now please help that lady in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now hear me please be careful eh? so you don't enjoy don't worry you you don't have to come out until I mention your case so you don't hurt yourself mama and this why is he here please find out okay no problem I'm seeing doors in the realm of the spirit just opening this is what I'm saying truly that means there are people here there were things God told you from January till now and it looked like the doors that will open them you see there are times that you don't use a key there are times that you have to break that door so that your children and your children's children will pass let me prophesy I stand upon the grace of your father in this house and I speak over your life every door that has refused to open by the power that is in the name of Jesus I speak to that door Ephata be opened now be opened now be opened now be opened now in the name of Jesus and everything everything you are involved with please hear me everything you are involved with that has refused to work do you know there are times in your life where like Peter your fish may not come even though your boat is there even though your net is there even though your skill is there there will still be no fish that is not laziness that is not lack of productivity it's just a reality of life at that point you don't need skill again at that point you need Jesus let me speak to someone here who because of the happenings in your life people are already asking where is your God God is about to answer them through your testimony I decree and I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead everything that has not worked in your life go back now and watch it work in the name of Jesus Christ ye have come past this mountain long enough the bible says turn ye not words i declare whoever has been marking time at the same level maybe your job there is no increase there is no lifting by whatever sentiments i come by the power that raised christ from the dead and i decree and declare rise to a new level rise to a new dimension in the name of jesus christ now let me pray over your spiritual life please listen I am very passionate about the state of your heart and your life as far as it is with God this for me is the real key to a life of spiritual efficiency that more than just receiving things your state with God that your heart is on fire you love the Lord you're on fire your children are on fire your prayer life your word study life your commitment to the house of God for the Bible declares that they that be planted in the house of God it says they will flourish in the courts of our God that even in old age they will be fat and they will be flourishing the degree to which you fear the Lord sincerely 
there are blessings that follow reverence for God. It's called Yirat Adonai, the fear of the Lord. Blessed is the man that fears the Lord, Psalm 112, that delighted greatly in his commands. The Bible said, his seed shall be mighty upon earth, that the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. And the Bible says, his righteousness endures forever. I decree and declare over your spiritual life, whatever has eaten away your passion for God, whatever has drained your fire and your fervency for prayer, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be restoration right now. Let there be restoration right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. When Saul met with Samuel, Samuel gave him three information that translated to his blessing. Number one, he said, the donkey that you have been looking for has been found. As soon as he met with the prophet, the donkey started going back. That means everything that has left you is still around. That under a certain condition, it can return back. Let me speak to you. Whatever left your life, especially this year, that should not have left, I stand by the power of prophecy. I call it back to your life. Number two. Please help her. He said, on your way going, you will find three men holding two loaf of bread and they will salute you and give you say honor say favor let me speak over your life by the power that raised christ from the dead every embargo of shame and dishonor over anyone's life here i tear it open right now and i release you experience honor experience favor experience honor experience favor Number three, that you will come to the garrison of the Philistines and that the hand of the Lord would come upon him and he would begin to prophesy. And he so prophesied that when they saw him, they said, is Saul also one of the prophets? Let me pray for you. A grace you did not come here with. May that grace follow you back. In the name of Jesus Christ, a dimension of spiritual possibility that you did not come here with may it follow you back now for everyone who is sick in body i use these two people here these are our fathers and our uncles i'm our, our auntie here as a point of contact if there be anything that is attempting to steal your joy and cut short your life by the power that raised christ from the dead i declare be healed now be healed now be healed now help her please help that woman be healed now i command fibroids to go now i command rheumatoid arthritis go now hiv go now cancer go now in the name of jesus christ every cardiovascular disease i come against you in the name of jesus finally anyone here already appointed unto death that the devil is planning that come 2023 20, 22 you will not be there i decree and declare by the spirit that raised christ from the dead i prophesy and i declare oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory i declare that death passes over you in the name of jesus christ and for everyone who is a faithful worker in this commission in the name of jesus christ i'm told that this man has suffered stroke in the name of jesus i decree and declare help him by the power of the holy spirit may the hand of the lord rest upon you let there be healing right now to your body supernaturally in the name of jesus christ healing right now to your body in the name of jesus christ her own is stroke too madam can i pray for you come in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare stroke for how long five years and don't cry don't cry don't cry may the lord himself do a miracle for you and bring perfection to your body in the name of jesus you don't have to come out here eh? yes 
in the name of Jesus help her please in the name of Jesus Christ we have to wrap up I declare the blessing of the Lord upon you and I pray that this session alongside the sessions that are left with it together God will take you from glory to glory I stand upon the grace of your father pastor Tony Rappo and I declare for everyone who is part of this vision in the name of Jesus everything that God has helped him to see and to achieve and to walk in in the name of Jesus let it flow freely to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead let the pastoral team be blessed let the workforce be blessed and all who are part of this vision here and in diaspora be blessed in Jesus name I pray amen God bless you dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekos Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko Pobre Kateka Nakata The face of development Lord